Hello, Divine Feminine. We are going to be doing a reading today. I have a feeling it's going to be like, what does he want to say to you? At least that's the message coming through right now. But we're doing two piles. First is my Dow Lemurian crystal. It's a very special crystal to me. And the second is this uh, calcite. I think it's calcite. I love it. I love the finish of it. So I think we have, I don't know, eight cards here. The bottom of the deck was the star. Here we have sunflower yellow. I can feel there is a lot of energy in the Divine Feminine Collective. They really want you to work on love and trust right now. You know, they keep pointing out the rose crystal, the rose quartz, my rose quartz pyramid to me. So let's just get her out, my Ormus. Um, and then these two crystals, which are rose quartz and then a green opal, which are the colors of the lower and higher heart. I love this green opal stone. So I can tell there's, I keep seeing signs of you everywhere I go. I'm thinking about making you an offer. I can feel that there are shifts in the heart space and a desire for the heart to expand, to hold more light and frequency. We have wedding rings and keys on a ring. Um, You know, the word that keeps coming up is, is trust. Healer of the ages. And, you know, the fact that challenges, which I think we've all been really going through, um, King of Pentacles, third chakra, is, Are there to, I already did these, did I? No, I did not. Um, are there for you to overcome them, you know, partially to learn to trust yourself more? Oh my gosh. <laughs> wedding and wedding. Wow. Playfulness. I don't think your masculine is playing around anymore. This is, this is very interesting. I will tell you that much. I have not uh, had double wedding come up in a while. Okay. I really wasn't planning to sit down and do a reading, but they were like, do a reading. I'm like, okay. I can already see what that one is. You're on his mind. You changed me. You're so spiritual, I feel inadequate. All right, so pile one or two or both. Let us move forward here. So for pile one, we're at 404. I do have about uh, a week left of doing readings and then we will be I will be taking a month long vacation. So if you'd like a reading, I, okay. I have readings open. I also am going to do a new moon candle ceremony. Wow. Today. Um, which I will record and send to you if you purchase the candle ceremony on my Etsy. It's uh, that's $11, $11. And um, or you can subscribe on my Instagram and I post the it there also. Last time it was challenging. Um, 
could do that, but we'll see what happens. Knight of Wands reversed. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Page of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Ace of Swords reversed. Oh, Healer of the Ages came out. Oh, wow. You have two of Cups and the Lovers. Full reversed and the Lovers. Look at Trust. Have you forgotten me? I miss your smell. Hmm. Okay. Your masculine finds you incredibly, yeah, I'm sure you've heard this before, beautiful. And you feel like no other to him. It is, it takes a lot for him to hold back from you. I get this feeling in this pile that it's like this push, pull back and forth energy. It's like, I want to work on this, but something tells me not to. I want to tell you how I feel, but then I hold back. I am sad, but I'm also extremely connected to you. I know that this love is reciprocated. It's special. It's like fantasy and grounded. You have this, like, I love this mint green card. It's a very special card and it's very Neptunian, right? The new moon, I think it opposes Neptune today or squares it. And it's, we get a glimpse of a spiritual love, but it's also like, I want to spend every day with you in the physical. It's also like, you're someone I could talk to and be around all of the time. And I never get sick of you. And I know that if I could work on myself, if I could face these things I need to heal, I know that I could have this happiness. And yet, I'm still not ready to take the leap. The good news in this pile is I get a feeling that he's ready to tell you this more. I do feel like an event happened in his life recently. That made all of this with you stand out even more. Maybe he went through the ending of another relationship or he, he dealt with some kind of deception with somebody else and that there's this feeling and longing and knowing it's like this okay I, this was on someone else's channel and they brought it through and, and it kind of they're bringing it up here for me it's like you really never get sick of smelling your favorite things that are comforting right um like if you love coffee and you walk into a Starbucks, you know how it's going to smell and you like that smell. Um, it could be with anything, right? If you love waffles and or whatever, it doesn't have to be food, but you know, if you're someone special in your life and you smell their cologne or perfume or their smell, it's like, you know, you're instantly comforted by it. And There is this sense in, that your home in like the frequency of you, the scent of you, the sound of your voice, the way that you guys vibe together. This is such a beautiful card. Um, 
he knows like he put himself basically outside right and look there's a giant key right there <laughs> there's the lock and he's sitting outside being a sad wanting to be rescued like a damsel in distress right um it feels like this is the beginning of something new is it going to be him that does this that's still to be determined i feel like he is waiting for you to come back to him and tell him that you need him that is not me telling you to do that let's see what he has to say surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out this is like one of my favorite cards in this deck my beloved though we may be physically apart spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time and nothing is missing embrace look at how cute that is through each other you find the missing pieces when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love soulmate you may be with somebody else um there is this so you got playfulness sacred union and look deep within my heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean there's kind of something here about him hoping that you come towards him, that you surrender your pride before he surrenders his or something like that. It's not really an energy of wanting to win, but it is clinging to fear in a lot of ways. And I think this has been a message coming through a lot that you... will have to choose to trust even if you have been betrayed even if there's reasons not to trust you're going to have to decide that what new beginning you really want um, I mean, I can tell you that there are a lot of feelings here. He is still probably not as mature as you want him to be. And I feel like he plays the victim a lot. And you may not get the whole truth still. I feel like you've been working on yourself and waiting and I feel like you thought, well, if I work on myself and I wait, the truth will be shown to me. I will get an explanation or be told why, why did all of this happen the way that it did? I'm not sure you will get that explanation that you want um, anytime soon, unfortunately. Part of your guys' journey seems to be they're saying take Take it and make the best of it. Um, there's something that happens when you two come together. So they're showing me this in this corner here that there's two heart, two hands making a heart. And inside of the heart, there's like this energy that's formed, right? There's something that happens when you two choose to come together. 
And it's about overcoming the odds and the obstacles. And that's a very important for some reason for you guys. It's like, you know, I don't love the interpretation of the lovers as a choice, but it is important here. It's like, you want to be chosen, he wants to be chosen. And this is about recognizing how special you are inside. You are a very special person and so is he. And I feel like you two are waiting for the other to recognize that. And what really needs to happen here is that you need to recognize yourself and that you're the exact same energy and that it's like what comes around goes around, right? There's this circular, there's this circular knowledge here that I think you're gonna learn this over this period of this Leo period. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this. I didn't look at this, but look at it now. And this is even yellow orange. That's crazy. <laughs> so I think you're going to be working on your sacral, I mean, your solar plexus chakra. Because we did get this here. Look at this. Uh, that's so funny. Uh, I, love, I love, look at that. Look. <laughs> Sun. I think you're going to be figuring out just how special you are and just, um, and how, you know, choosing yourself is really, it's going to make you understand that whatever happens, it's okay. You know, you can't be devastated when you're always you have you. All right. So where did I put the cards? Here's the cards. All right. Hi, Lil Pile 2. That was a funny reading to me. Um, if you pick Pile 2, we have serious and incoming contact. At the beginning, I went over the bottoms of the decks and they will come into play here. On two decks, we have a wedding. Um, my private readings are open for another week and then they will close for a month. I also am doing a new moon candle ceremony today. Um, those are both on my Etsy page. And that is all I have to say. <laughs> um, I'm just, oh wow, you got the Twin Flames card and the Runner's card. I'm sorry. Door to Spirit Hostilities. How one was so crazy. <laughs> just when Spirit gives me that, all of that energy at once. It's so funny. Okay. Well, this pile is very different. I wanted to say maybe they're connected. If you feel called to watch both, watch both, because you certainly could be working on two things at once. But it's so interesting. I did a client reading this morning and two of these cards were in that and they played a really important role. I feel like the feminines are doing some very important work right now. So let's go. And it all has to do, all of my readings lately have had to do with this Venus retrograde. It's going to be a really important period of time. It's interesting here. You have a three, four, four, five, six, eight, eleven. It does appear to me here 
there's a pretty rapid ascension going on. You have some very, this is so crazy. Look at this. Look at the colors in the spotlight and look at these cards. They're almost exactly the same. I think this was reversed. You know, you have three of pentacles in reverse and you have four and you have the Hierophant reversed and then you have the four of wands. So very opposite of what was in the first pile. I feel like you are looking for stability here. And it may be that you have found it challenging to find. You are channeling some very high level, very ancient energies. And they are mostly to do with emotions and feelings. It does feel like you have a lot of help from spirit. It feels like some of you have blocked your heart off a little bit. I feel like that is hurting your vibrancy. Now, I don't want you to feel like you need to make yourself in any way vulnerable or unstable. Um, I'm going to take one more of these cards. Okay, that makes sense. So you have Pleiadian and Syrian energy. The dog star wishes to assist your work. Use this energy from the High Council wisely. You are being aided by the Pleiadian High Council and the Alcyon Wealth System. Use this magic to achieve what seems impossible. I believe you are downloading your ancient knowledge from these star communities. You also have Jaguar medicine. Jaguar comes to heal your wounded soul. So you may rise to the royal position you desire to be in. You do have this royal wealth energy within you. I get a lot of Tauran energy, a lot of Libran energy, a lot of Leo energy. There's a lot of water too. Um, you know, you and your twin together make this beautiful mixture of this really rich energy. It is sometimes very hard to carry this energy and be in this world at the same time. I feel like this is what you have been dealing with and finding possibly you've maybe been in isolation or you have maybe ended a relationship or you maybe have been seeking solitude to work on dealing with your ascension, although you may not call it that. Um, there are portals you've had to walk through and you know we see this the portal of this tent we also see this doorway here i feel like people around you didn't really understand what you were going through or even understand <sighs> there's a way that sometimes very high level spiritual beings make things look really easy but they aren't easy. No matter how they look, they are difficult, okay? Building things bigger than yourself, building spiritual energies on in this world 
being fair and just and doing the right thing. These things are not easy. Um, they take a lot of character. They take a lot of strength. They take deep understanding of your soul. Um, you know, these cards are very much talking about these cards here. I feel like you have been understanding very deep Atlantean knowledge. You have been pulling out, you know, the hidden messages, the sacred mysteries, the ancient and hidden meanings of what's going on. You've been, I think you've been giving a lot more than you're getting, but you definitely have been working on this manifesting energy and these things although i would say that these cards still feel challenging these things are going to stabilize themselves you know i think you've been through a lot and probably for most of you you have been treated unfairly by people who you thought were important in your life, even could be family, could be spouses, could be, there could be many different things. You could have expected to be supported by people and they let you down or cast you aside. But I feel like all of that will be healed. It will be like, turned upright again, right? Your masculine may have gone far from you in this connection and not been able to really deal with the intensity of it. But this too will change. I do think he's had some kind of awakening, epiphany, understanding. This king has his finger in the bowl, in the cup, right? And a crown on his head, you know, he's aware. And look at the radiance coming from his heart. There has been a heart awakening here. And, you know, you just can't unsee certain things. I think this is what he's figuring out. You changed me like attracts like you're so spiritual. I feel inadequate. Um, there's a lot of hope to be had. And look, Queen of Pentacles. And then we have nine, nine, and seven, which is kind of the missing piece in this. Um, there's hope in his heart that I think you cannot feel right now for some reason, because he hasn't given it to you. Um, but he will be making an effort And part of the reason that he is doing this is that I think at one point, there could be a differences here for a lot of you. And I think at one point, his logical brain was like, mm, this isn't a good match for me in this world, right? This isn't a traditional relationship. This isn't worth pursuing because it doesn't fit into my 3D reality. And his 3D reality has kind of crumbled now, right? It had to crumble. We don't see the tower here, but it's the energy I'm feeling is that, you know, after the tower, you have to build this four of wands. 
And I think this foundation is not going to be like either of you thought it would be. I don't think it's going to be like a traditional marriage. In fact, many of you may not get married per se. Um, this is going to be a spiritual union. And <clears throat> you two have been in the process of accepting that. I think um, that we have wedding twice on the bottoms of these ducks. It's just that there has been since meeting you, no one else. I feel like he's tried to have romantic feelings for other people and he can't. And I feel like this may have even made him angry because it's interesting. In the first pile, they showed up as a knight and a page. Here they're showing up as a king. And I get the feeling like some of these people may be much younger, but there's a maturity to their heart because of what they've lived through past lives and this life and the what they're channeling right from I think you're Pleiadian and he's Syrian but it could be a mixture and this is like knowledge being bestowed because of what's been overcome and I do feel like this will be a big shift for you guys, both. A big change. Um, you know, he ran away and denied, but he just kept running into this truth that this is a twin flame and he would be, I don't want to trigger anybody, but you know, he would be holding other people and he would be thinking about you. And I feel like it's come to the point where maybe this needs to be discussed. You know, if you're in constant contact with this person, I don't think this is your pile. Um, I feel like there was some sort of absence in each other's lives here. And it was in that absence that, you know, he had this heart awakening and this understanding that you're very, very special to him. Anyway, I'm going to end the reading there. I hope that you have a beautiful new moon and I'm going to end it on 3333. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.